everyone in this video we are going to solve seven, ninth question of exercise 9.3 and the question says the side ab of a parallelogram abcd is produced any point p a line through a and parallel to cp made cb produced at q and then parallelogram pbqr is completed you have to show that that the area of this parallelogram ABCD is equal to the area of parallelogram PBQR. So, uh, to solve this question, there is a hint given to you that you have to join this AC and this QP. Okay, and then you have to compare the area of ACQ and APQ. There is a theorem that says if two triangles lie on the same base and between the same parallel, that means the area of those two triangles must be equal. And same case here also, this triangle AQC, this one. And this triangle AQP, this one, lie on the same base AQ and they are between the same parallel. This AQ is parallel to PC, this is given to you. Okay, <coughs> so triangle A, AQC and triangle APQ. lie on the same base that is AQ and between the same parallel and here those two parallel are AQ and PC this is given to you okay so therefore according to the theorem area of AQC must be equal to the area of APQ. Okay, so we have proved that the area of this complete triangle is equal to the area of this triangle. The area of AQC is equal to the area of AQP. And both the triangles have the same common triangle. So, from this triangle, this is common and in this triangle also, this is common. So, this complete triangle can be written as this, the area of this triangle plus the area of this triangle. Okay. So, the area of AQC can be written as area of ABQ plus the area of ABC okay this will be equal to the area of APQ and the area of APQ can be written as the area of ABQ plus the area of BQP so this triangle ACQ is divided into two parts ABC plus AQB. Similarly, this triangle AQP is divided into these two parts AQB and BPQ. Okay, and both have the same common part. And because these are same, so these can be cancelled. So, area of Triangle ABC will be equal to the area of triangle BQP. So this can be considered as considered as our first equation. Now we have proved that the area of this ABC is equal to the area of BQP. This we have proved and this line is acting as a diagonal for this parallelogram and we know that 
डायगन ऑफ पायरोग्राम डिवाइड इट इनटू टू इक्वल पार्ट्स सिमिलरली हियर आल्सो दिस लाइन इज एक्टिंग एज अ डायगनल फॉर दिस पायरोग्राम एंड दिस आल्सो मस्ट डिवाइड दिस इनटू टू इक्वल पार्ट्स बिकॉज this is these two part are equal means this part must be half of this complete one okay so i can confirm that in parallelogram ab uh, abcd its diagonal ac must divide it into two equal parts and therefore the area of A B C must be equals to half of the area of parallelogram A B C D. This is our second equation. Obviously, uh, this diagonal is dividing this parallelogram into two equal parts. That means this must be half of this complete one. Okay. Similarly. In this parallelogram, P R Q B. In this parallelogram, this is acting as a diagonal, so this must divide this into two equal parts. Means this part must be half of this complete one. So similarly, area of triangle B Q P must be equals to. half of the area of parallelogram brqb prqb this is our third equation okay now if i compare these two equations we know that the area of this triangle <laughs> is equal to the area of this triangle area of abc is equal to the area of bpq and that means our left hand side are equal and if our left hand side are equal that means our right hand side must also be equal so comparing equation first comparing equation first second and third i can confirm that because our left hand side are equal our right hand side must also be equal so half of ABCD must be equal to half of PRQB. Okay. Now, if half of this ABCD the area uh, is equal to the half of this the area of PQRB means the area of complete parallelogram must be equal to the area of this complete parallelogram, or we can say. Uh, multiplying this complete equation by two. So if I multiply this equation by two, similarly, if I multiply this equation by two, so two two can be cancelled out. So the area of ABCD will be equal to the area of PRQB. So this is how you can prove. this particular question i hope you have understood how to solve this if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description and keep watching uh, for more videos thank you